Today I will talk about pinky fingers. I would like to talk about this because I see so many students using their fingers wrong actually. They are not doing this curl movement with the fingers. When it comes to play faster passages and when it comes to use them like smooth, you know, uh, they are not able to do it and then they are asking themselves like, oh yeah, why can I, I play as fast as you do? and how can i get faster how can i get uh, technically better actually to use these fingers with the right position and of course doing the right exercises to be able to use them right so the first part of the video i'm going to explain how i'm using my fingers like the positions you know like how i'm holding my fingers actually on the keys etc and then the second part i'm going to show some exercises then you will see that if you work on your fingers and if you get this right position with your fingers then it was you, you will really see that you're going to be able to play all these notes and all these passages uh, with the pinky fingers much easier so of course when i talk about pinky fingers positions i'm talking about these notes like which are the lowest notes on the clarinet e on the right e on the left f on the right f on the left f sharp on the right f sharp on the left and then there are like g sharp on the right on some clarinet models especially the professional clarinets they always have these g sharp on the left but some Clarinets don't have this. And of course, we use our pinky fingers to play all these notes on the octave, which are, you know, B, C, C sharp, and again, D sharp, and this one if you have the key. And only with the left pinky finger, actually, we are also using on this key, like C sharp. It can be quite tricky to use these fingers actually like those two because you know we have to make kind of a circle around all these keys to use the right pinky finger okay right little finger so look at it you know this is the moment actually it's like a clock think that this is like turning like around the clock so think about this moment and first of all, you have to be able to do that, okay, with your finger. But while doing that, actually, you shouldn't move your um, wrist, you know. There, there shouldn't be any movement from here. Because um, every time uh, I see from my students that they want to use their uh, little fingers, then I see that they are trying to do this kind of movements. Or because, because th this is the problem. They're not using their finger curled like this. That's why they want to reach the key exactly like with a straight finger. But you know, when we play the clarinet, we never hold our hands like this, like with a straight finger to have kind of this curl movement. So it's the same for the pinky fingers. And uh, it's important to make the circle, okay? Because on each key, it's going to be another position actually. Because the, for the other fingers, it's quite stable. I mean, except that we have some trill positions, etc. I will come to that also in another video. But, you know, especially these little fingers have a lot of job to do. So this one is like this. The other one is quite the same. And we have another one, of course, but it's always the same. You should curl your finger a little bit and you should do no movement from your wrist. Okay, everything should stay uh, like let's think like this on the tip of your finger okay tip of your finger it's just this moment i really have a short finger uh, on this left side that's why i cannot really curl it and i use it kind of like straight i mean you are going to see it like that way but actually i'm just trying to reach the key <laughs> that's why uh, it looks kind of like I'm using like a straight, but actually it's a little bit curled. You can see that if I do that, not, not that much, but you know, this, then I can reach the key, but it's still not like this, you know. What I mean, this is like reaching the keys <laughs> with the pinky fingers. <laughs> this is wrong, but yeah. This is also, I mean, if you have short finger like me, then this is also 
acceptable. Because yeah, it's your anatomy, you can't change it for clarinets. Poor you. Okay, but it doesn't matter. Even if your finger is short or long, you should do kind of the same movement. If you have longer fingers, this is even more dangerous to use them like straight or like flat like this, okay? So this is the basic. So imagine that your little fingers are independent. They are working independently with this movement around here, okay? Now I'm going to show you some exercises you probably know this, but there is this exercise, which is really common, but I'm going to remind you just play by playing it. So. You can do it also on the other side. exercise then you can continue with the F, F sharp, you know. You see how I'm using my little finger, it's quite short but I'm still curling the tip of my finger to reach the key. I don't do it like exactly like this, sometimes it's quite flat, yeah I know, because my finger is too short, I told you at the beginning, but you see how I'm using those fingers here, like this. So. Watch, like when it's G sharp, it's like this, when it's F, like this, E, you see, and F sharp, and on the other side, I'm doing like F sharp, you see, like this, E, like this, you see, I'm always using a curl actually, you don't see it maybe from this angle, but yeah, I'm showing you, so F, it was like this, and when it comes to C sharp, I use it like this. Now I'm going to give a little tip which is really important to do all of these exercises. I'm going to show more exercises with just a basic one. So uh, the tip is to put your fingers right on the keys. Okay, if you make too big movements and if you move them too much, then it's terrible because actually you're making an extra move. So if you really put your finger on the key and if you really use it like this, you see, it's like kind of, I stick my finger on the key. Imagine that someone used a glue to stick it there and it can't move anymore, okay? Just think like this while doing these exercises. Then you're going to improve and you will get faster to play all these passages with the pink fingers and everything. So here is the exercise. Uh, it's going to take a couple of minutes to show this. I'm going to put the metronome. So what we are going to do is like this, like E, F, G, F, E, F, G, F. Okay, but always don't forget, you put your fingers on the key, right on the key, and you do exactly the exercise like this. You are making sure that you're like, I put the metronome that I told it's really good. Okay, I will play. Now I will do triplets. So I get faster, slowly, slowly, okay? how I'm holding them on the keys not making any super big move or something small everything super light with the fingers you don't need to tap them you know okay now I will continue with the 16th notes faster okay <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, you see, you're going 
faster and faster. Actually, you just change uh, the rhythms. Now I will play through and then I will do it also on the other side. I'm going to show you because, you know, now I took it from the left, you know, the E from the left. So, of course, F was on the right. And anyways, G is one position. So it was like this. But then I will do also from the other side, okay? Like E on the right and then F on the left. It's really difficult. I also struggle at the end because it's getting faster and I really try to hold my fingers on the keys. When you try to do the exercise exactly how I do, you will understand why the struggle is real. <laughs> okay, now I'm doing on the other side. Oops, I was rushing again. Okay, you're going to do it better than me, okay? <laughs> so the first time we did E, F, G. Now we can do E, F, G flat, the same thing. And on the other side, E, F, G flat. I will show you just to show how I'm using my fingers. <laughs> Exactly. Okay. Always curl, always fingers as much as possible on the keys. Yeah, of course, you can do also like uh, E, F, G sharp or E, F, G sharp if you have the key on your clarinet from the other side. And then you can also do E, F sharp, G, E, F sharp, G, E, F sharp, G sharp. You know, again, with this bass, I think that it's going to be really helpful to work on your pinky fingers. Just do them on the lower octava because it's more, uh, you know, resistance of course i told you that we are using also this pinky finger on the left side uh, also to play uh, stuff with this c sharp okay when you play c c sharp it's just this movement okay you can always work like this trill exercise whatever okay i will cut the metronome there are uh, more stuff which are complicated like <laughs> You should really concentrate and you should really be able to um, see and count and sing in your head what you have to play 
and leave your fingers relaxed actually because if you are too much you know <laughs> with the fingers <laughs> then it's not going to work like <laughs> then we will use the um, coordination between fingers and we're not going to be able to move them at the same time etc so it's really important to stay relaxed with the fingers okay as uh, less as possible this movement with the finger you know like i'm not moving them too high from the keys I mean. when you do your technical exercises especially where you have only three notes like this one just try to concentrate and try to move your fingers as less as possible so you can of course vary all these exercises that i showed you with this c sharp you can also do a etc okay so another thing when you do these exercises of course you're using your left hand but your right hand should stay also stable on the keys don't make them like go up <laughs> like this nothing from here okay just stay stable here you have nothing to do with this just stays there and you're only working on this hand all right that's it I hope that these tips and exercises will be helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like. And if you would like to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Come on, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Have a nice practice and see you next time.